Hello, my name is Wayne Ruddock with Advanced Infrared Resources. In this video, I will explain why IRT Cronista is my infrared software package of choice. IRT Cronista is three software programs in one. It's an organizer to organize your infrared images and corresponding visual images. It has an analyzer portion with multiple analytical tools. The report generation function allows the creation of an entire report with the click of only one button. Best of all, IRT Cronista will work with almost all camera manufacturers' images. You can have two or three different cameras or two or three different camera models. Not a problem. Now you only need one software package. No matter what or how many cameras you have, IRT Cronista is the program that will work with all of them. Cronista allows you to organize your images and inspections into logical folders and files and transfer images from one to another. It allows you to link your digital images with your infrared images to be used in your report by using the drag and drop function. You can create and save notations and comments to your images for efficient report generation. You can also change the presentation of your images using the level and span and color palette functions. Cronista Analyzer has multiple spots, lines, and areas. You can see a temperature readout of every spot in the image as you move the spot cursor around your image. There is an automatic hot spot and cold spot locator function. You can make use of line profiles and histograms in your analysis. You can adjust the measurement properties of each measurement tool individually. And there is a trending function that even allows you to forecast temperature over time into the future using the current historical data. The reporter function allows you to produce fast, comprehensive reports. Reports are produced in Word for Windows for easy sharing with others. You can create and reuse custom templates for each type of inspection you perform. Electrical, mechanical, motors, steam traps, buildings. You can create autofill fields and tables. There is an automatic executive summary page produced. The entire report is created with the click of one button. When we first open up IRT Cronista, it opens up in the organizer mode. And in the organizer mode, we have all of our directories on the left-hand side. And we have the uh, folders that are in the directory that's chosen, which is the IRT sample. And we're just going to click on one of those directories and it shows us what's inside the directory. Once we're in a directory with infrared images, we have the color palette shown on the right hand side and we can go into that color palette and we can change the color palette to any of the number of color palettes that are supplied with IRT Cronista. We can also change the level and the span. The image looks a little dark there so we're going to do an auto adjust by clicking that button and it automatically adjusts. We can actually set the level and span manually if we want but we will leave it at the auto adjust at this time. We can see all of the information here on the file, the date, the type of camera and the image size. Across the top we have a number of different buttons that as we go to each button it will show you what that button does. This creates a new folder, this creates a report, uh, this cuts and copies to the clipboard so there are a number of functions there. You'll also notice that we have the analyzer button uh, next to the organizer button and we can quickly change from the organizer mode to the analyzer mode and we're just going to save that and go to the analyzer mode. Once we're in the analyzer mode, we can add any of the measurement functions we want. This is an area tool, and we're going to just look at this component and get the area there. Once we've done that, we're going to go back and we're going to move our label over to here. We can go to our spot meter, put a spot on the warmest spot here, 
and put another spot up here as a reference and we'll take the connector tool and we will join these two with the connector tool and that will give us a difference. Let's go back and let's move our labels out of the way. We'll move this label over here. We'll move this label up here and we'll take this label and we'll move it down here. Again we have the same number of various tabs across here that we can look at. We're going to uh, go back and we have the, sorry, we have the properties of spot A here. We can go to spot E, B, uh, or the difference. We can go to spot B. We can change the emissivity, emissivity simply by clicking on it and just adding an, the emissivity that we want and hit the enter key to accept that. Let's go back to the organizer mode and we're going to save the changes we've made. And to do an infrared report quickly, we need to link the visible image with the infrared image. And to do that, you simply kick, click on the visible image and drag and drop it onto the infrared image. And those two images are linked right now. You'll see at the uh, bottom we have two tabs, File Info and Notations. Here's the file info about the camera. It is a Genoptics Vario cam. If we go into the Notations tab, this is where we can set the information for this Im image. Simply click on the Notations here, and this is in the Amine unit. We can click that. It's out on the, it's in electrical room two, and this is a motor controller, and the component is an internal problem, and it is on B phase, and it's normal load, and because it's on phase and because it is an internal one we're going to class this as an A problem which is that and the comments are the internal temperature is much higher than indicated on the outside of the case. So we have all of our notations done for this image and the report that we're going to make we're going to put it in a file called demo so we'll move the gen optics image after we've done our analysis over to the demo file. We're going to go down now to our NEC images and you'll see that we have two NEC images and we've already uh, uh, marked some things on that so we're going to move those over to the demo directory and we're going to move both of them over to the demo directory and now we're going to go down to the Avio file format and those images come up and they're read by IRT Cronista with no problem we'll move those over to the demo directory and now we have three different types of images in the demo directory. We'll go to the demo directory and it doesn't matter which image we pick, we can go to the image and we can go to analyzer and we see that we have all the analyzing functions and we can add anything we want to the image. We're just going to move our label out of the way there and we're going to go back to the organizer and we're going to save the changes we made and now we're ready to make our infrared report and to make our infrared report it's simply click one tab which creates a report for all the images in the folder we're going to take a preset up template a template that I've already done we're going to pick that template and we're going to say run it and now our report will be made it imports the infrared images and the real life images and it makes a separate page for every image that we have in that directory. It's a report. And there we have our infrared report. We can type in the where the inspection is. Uh, you see that I have my logo already inserted on it. I also have pre-done some other things. We can put in the inspection date there. I've put in uh, a table that I can fill in the customer, the address, the contact person, and we have an introduction that comes into all of the reports that are made from this template, 
and it also gives us the inspection information when it was and who was there and a repair priority table and a place for comments on the entire report and then the next thing we see is the inspection summary which is an executive summary that's automatically made when we create the report and then we have our item pages that has my logo and the phone number and the uh, infrared thermography.com site there we have our visible image with where it is and what it is and then we have our infrared image and the boxes the emissivity the ambient and the measurement functions are automatically placed into the report with the recommendation an area for comments and also the repair procedure it makes a page automatically for every infrared image and places all the information on the report page. And on this one we made a comment in the notations before we started our report and there's the comment right there. And that's just how quickly and simply we can make a report using IRT Cronista. I hope you found this information helpful. Thank you for watching.